Hi, I'm going to show you how to create some subplots uh, in a Jupyter Notebook using the matplotlib and Seaborn library. This is a very easy tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is bring in the essentials. So our essentials are going to be, we're going to be using pandas, which is the data manipulation library. If you don't know, pandas as PD. Oops, import. And then we're going to import matplotlib library, lib.pyplot. And we're going to save that as PLT. And then we're going to import Seaborn, which is another data visualization library that is very nice looking, as SNS. All right. So once those are our essential libraries, then I am going to bring in my data set, which is on my desktop using pandas variable that we save and I'm going to use the read CSV and then I'm just going to give it the location and we're going to visualize that data so I gave it the file name fbcampaign.csv and let's take a quick look at the head of that data set by using the head function so here's our data and we are going to visualize this using matplotlib and then create some subplots. So I'm going to just very, something that's very easy to do is I want to start saving some of the columns as variables because they look better and it's easier to read when you start uh, plotting out your, your visuals. So the first thing I want to see is the state. So I'm going to go in and grab the state by just using data frame bracket method and saving state as state. I'm going to save the total conversion. So I'm just going to save that as total. And I'm going to say DF total, the column name, total conversion. And then let's also take a look at gender. So I'm going to save gender. Maybe also let's get one more. Let's also get the total spent. And let's do one more to be safe. Let's get the add manager. Let's call that manager. Add some notation here. These are our variables for visuals. Let's run that and see if we got any errors. Yes, we misspell something. Yes, add manager. Now, now we're good to go. So the first thing I want to do is just make a simple plot, like a bar plot, the state and the total conversion. So I'm just using PLT, which we saved. I can save that as a bar. And we can just bring in our variables, so state and total. And then we can run that. And we can see that, which is not so pretty. So I'm going to turn that horizontally by just adding bar H. So that's very easy, simple plot that we just created. Now what I want to do is be able to create subplots. And subplots are exist on the same figure. So let's quickly look at a visual. This is a figure and each one of your individual plots are called axis and this is from uh, earth lab you can take a look at their website but i really like this visual so we're going to have one figure and we're, this is two columns and one row and i'll show you how that comes into play when we create subplots so we know we have one figure so we can save the variable figure and then we want two axes so I'm gonna go AX1 and AX2 and then I'm going to say this equals PLT which is a subplots now we need to tell it how many rows we want so I'm going to go in rows equals one because we just remember this visual we just want this one row in these two columns and then I'm going to use the number of columns there and I'm going to say two so that means we're going to have a two by one so the first thing I want to visualize is 
a first axis, which is AX1, that we have saved in this tuple. And then I'm going to do the same action. I'm going to bar H, and then I'm going to add my two um, variables there, which is state and total. Then I'm going to get the next axis, and I'm going to call that bar H. How about for this one, instead of a bar, we add a scatter plot. So I'm going to add a scatter for AX2, not 1. And then I'm going to add the two variables that I want, which need to be both numeric. So I have the total. And then I have spent. And let's take a look at that. So now we have two subplots on the same figure in the same row with two columns. Now we can easily add another one just by going up here and adding another variable AX3. And remember we have rows and columns. So I'm going to add one more column. And then for this one, AX3, I'm going to use Seaborn. So Seaborn is saved as SNS. And I'm also going to do a bar plot here. So I'm just going to say bar plot. For this bar plot, I'm going to use the add manager, save that as manager. And then I'm going to use, and then I'm going to use our total. And then for Seaborn, we need to tell it where the data is. So I'm going to give it our data. And then for this, I want to add different colors for the gender that we have in there. So then I'm going to give it our gender quotations. So let's see what we produced. So you can see we have our three different plots. They are not so spaced apart. So we can adjust the figure that we have here, which encompasses this whole thing. So the first thing we can do, we can increase the figure size of the subplots by using fig size equals and maybe we can make this a little bit bigger. We can go 10 by 8. And that also needs to be in parentheses. Um, 10 by 8. And let's run that and see what we get. So now they're bigger, but they're still very close together. And the way we can do that is by adding another. We can add another line here called plt.subplots. adjust and now we have the ability to adjust the space between here so I'm just gonna quickly use W space which is with space to put a space between these two so well, let's go 0.5 let's run this make sure that's correct Looks like there is a spelling error somewhere and I can see it and we so let's so that fixes the spelling error. We run that. And then those are our three graphs. So I'm going to adjust these a little bit. I'm going to keep them by eight, but maybe I'm going to do 15 by eight. And see what happens. So now they're a little bit easier to see. Additionally, we can change the way the subplots look by using a different style. So I'm going to add plt.style.use. And I really like ggplot. There, you can Google. There's many different ones. If we run that. I think this needs to be a little bit farther up. Let's move this here. Now we have it. It needs to be outside of the actual figure. So we have this style. Of course, we can add a title to each one of these by just adding uh, the title set title. So AX1 dot set title. 
and then we can say total by state and I'm just going to copy this and AX2 set title and then we're going to call that total by spend and then one more we are going to do a three and then we're going to call this let's just run that and now we have a title on each one of those so the next thing I want to show you is how to create a subplot within a plot so we're going to use the same figure the same row and the same column so if I go fig 1 oops uh, fig ax1 equals plt dot subplots and then we give it our fig size I guess so we can see this and let's do 12 12 by 10 and now I want to put uh, maybe I'm going to put this scatter plot in this total by state plot so the first thing I want to do is start figuring out within our plot where can we put this so I'm going to use the some variables so f to tell it where to put the plot so let's let's use the left for what side and left on your figure so if we go up here is zero zero so I'm going to use left so how big is our, our, our smaller plot and what is the height of our smaller plot that we're going to put inside this and then let's pass the list uh, so zero zero is the in there so I'm going to go 0 0.5 for where our left would be and then for our bottom it's not one so I'm going to say 0 0.6 because one one would be the top and then for our width let's use 0 4 and then 2 for our height so this is not you, you will have to play around with this but this is going to be the dimensions of our smaller plot so and you can tell I didn't create another axis here because I'm going to insert it with a different command as opposed to what we did up here was we added the axis separately as one two and three okay so that's the dimension of our smaller so I'm going to say AX2, which is going to be our smaller one. I want it to be brought in using fig dot, because figure is what we save our figure variable as. And then they have a function called add axis. So we can add an axis within our axis here. And then now that we have that we can pass it the list which is here and I'm just gonna copy it so we have all our variables saved and now I'm going to visualize the big part of the figure which is gonna be let's say that bar H and that bar H is just let me go and get it uh, what is it state state and total and then the smaller one which is going to be inside with ax2 which we already have the variable saved here is going to be a scatter and that scatter is our total and then our spent all right let's see what that looks like uh oh we have an issue oh fig size this needs to be in parentheses so I'm gonna put that in parentheses and run that okay well we have one 
in here and obviously we need to change the colors so I'm going to change the color of the smaller one to blue and then I'm gonna adjust it a little bit so I can just put color equals and I'm just gonna put blue and then let's move it looks a little long so let bottom width I'm gonna do two for width and I'll keep the height as two and I'll just run that and then it's too far over left so we can change that instead of seven so you would definitely have to fool around with this a little bit okay that's good enough we can continue to play with that but I just wanted to show you how to do a plot within the plot I hope you really enjoyed this video and you got some value at it. Please subscribe and press the like button. That helps the channel out a lot. Thank you.